नमस्कार दोस्तों आज आपको जस्टिस चलमेश्वर का एक बयान बताने जा रहा हूं जो उन्होंने केरला में दिया है जस्टिस चलमेश्वर उन पांच जजेस में से एक जज थे इन्होंने एनजीएसी के केस में डिसेंटिंग फैसला दिया था चार जजेस ने कंसेंटिंग फैसला दिया था और इन्होंने डिसेंटिंग फैसला दिया था तो जस्टिस चलमेश्वर हमेशा ही कुछ ना कुछ बोलते रहते हैं लेकिन उन्होंने पहली बार ये बोला है कि उनका डिसेंटिंग फैसला देने का मतलब ये नहीं था कि जजेस के अपॉइंटमेंट की पावर एग्जीक्यूटिव को दे दी जाए मैं आपको याद दिलाना चाहता हूं कि जस्टिस चलमेश्वर उन चार जजेस में से एक थे जिन्होंने चीफ जस्टिस दीपक मिश्रा के खिलाफ एक प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस की थी उसमें दूसरे जजेस में जस्टिस मदन लोकुर जस्टिस रंजन गोगोई और एक कोई और जज था एनीवे तो लेट्स स्टार्ट आशा है ये वीडियो आपको अच्छा लगेगा क्योंकि मैं लीगल बैकग्राउंड से हूँ इसलिए इस वीडियो को रिकॉर्ड करके आपके बीच प्रस्तुत करता हूं तो अगर आपको ये वीडियो अच्छा लगता है तो आप इसको लाइक करें सोशल मीडिया में दोस्तों यारों के बीच शेयर करें मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें बस चलो शुरू करते हैं ये लाइव ला की न्यूज है मैं वहीं से पढ़ रहा हूँ ये जस्टिस चलमेश्वर साहब है इन्होंने कहा है कि डिसेंटिंग जजमेंट देने का मतलब ये नहीं है कि एग्जीक्यूटिव को सारी सारी पावर दे दी जाए अब वो बोलते हैं आई नो द डेंजर ऑफ इट मोर देन एनी वन एल्स मुझे दूसरों से ज्यादा पता है इसके खतरे के बारे में वो इस कॉलेजियम एलियन टू द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इस टॉपिक पर एक सेमिनार में केरला हाई कोर्ट यूनिट जो भारतीय अभी भस्क परिषद की है उसमें मंगलवार को बोल रहे थे केरला हाई कोर्ट के एडिटोरियम में उन्होंने आगे एनजीएसी के लैंडमार्क जजमेंट के बारे में एक्सप्लेन करते हुए बोला कि नाव डेज ऑन टी वी एंड मीडिया इट इज प्रपाउंडेड दैट चलमेश्वर सेट देंड ओवर टू दूट्यूब दैट वॉज नॉट द इशू बिफोर मी द क्वेश्चन वॉज वेदर द पार्लियामेंट हैड द नेसेसरी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल पावर टू मेक सच एन अमेंडमेंट एंड इफ दिस अमेंडमेंट इज मेड वेदर that would be consistent with basic issue of the constitution i held s for both question all that i said in the judgment was this wo kya bol rahe hain ki mere samne sawal tha ki parliament ko ke paas koi samvidhanik power hai aisa amendment karne ki agar hai to whether ye constitutional ke basic structure se consistent hai aur usi mein unhone bola ki ha मैं इस बारे में एग्री करता था कि कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में ऐसी पावर पार्लियामेंट के पास में है फिर ये बोल रहे हैं द कॉलेजियम इज इलीगल एज दर्ड इज नॉट मैं कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज अब्सर्ड वो बोल रहे हैं कि कॉलेजियम कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन मेंशन नहीं है इसलिए ये गैर कानूनी है इस बारे में चलमेश्वर साहब बोलते हैं A very eminent personal personality recently said that the text of the constitution does not contain the word collegium and therefore it is illegal. अब यहाँ पर ये जो eminent personality की बात करते हैं वो हमारे law minister Kiran Rajju की बात कर रहे हैं. My friends, who are always liar, does the constitution contain anything which says freedom of press? वो ये क्या बोल रहे हैं? Argument दे रहे हैं कि constitution में तो freedom of press भी नहीं है, तो collegium भी नहीं है. If we accept this kind of logic or argument, a lot of things, including freedom of press, can go. 
ये बोल रहे हैं अनिवे जस्टिस चलमेश्वर ऑल्सो रिकॉर्ड एन एक्सलेंट फ्रॉम एक्सक्रिप्ट फ्रॉम अ बुक ऑथर्ड बाई अभिनव चंद्रचूड ये अभिनव चंद्रचूड जो है ये हमारे सी के बेटे हैं स्पीक्स अबाउट अ जजमेंट गिवन बाय एडिशनल जज ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश हाईकोर्ट अगेंस्ट द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ मध्य प्रदेश हिज नेम वाज रिकमेंडेड थ्री टाइम्स बट द गवर्नमेंट रिफ्यूज टू एक्सेप्ट इट वाज इन दिस बैकग्राउंड दैट द कर्जम सिस्टम केम टू बी कर्जम सिस्टम इज शॉर्ट हैंड वर्ड गिवन टू अ सिस्टम दैट ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टेड इज सिंपली गेव अ लीगल फ्रेमवर्क टू एन एग्जिस्टिंग प्रैक्टिस अकॉर्डिंग टू द फॉर्मर जज द सेशन सेकंड जज केस only formalize the college system it tried to impose limitation on the powers of chief justice and impose discipline on the selection process of judges speaking on the college system justice has said the spirit in which the judgment was written was not the winner takes it all the purpose was to select the best person the judges who wrote the judgment wrote with concern of the institution and with freedom of dissent in mind but unfortunately what happens power has the tendency to corrupt abusing power is a corruption abusing power is a corruption so whether it is legislative executive or judicial power power is power in the process collegium system created a lot of problem parliament created ngs which consisted of top 3 judges of supreme court the law minister and two eminent civil society all politician particularly parties unanimously voted in favor of the ngs only but only ram jethmalali voted against it justice chelmeshwar said when the matter came up before the bench i repeatedly asked who will be chosen as civil society members he said what matters is not who make the choice but how the choice is made on how the selection of judges should be made he said some say that only when judges appoint judges will this will be independent and some say that people chosen by the people that is the executive should make out he was of the view that both these were exam extreme position to think i think the truth lies somewhere in the middle he said kya bol rahe hain independence is inherent in human beings it does not come with who is choosing the judiciary but perhaps with the process of that choose twice whether the law minister choose or the chief justice choose is not what is important the parameter for choosing them on consideration made that potentially decide the independence of the judiciary on his consistent against the lack of transparency in the college system he said it was considered controversial when i said please uh, when i said please at least record why are you rejecting accepting or transferring a judge nothing is recorded there are allegation against some of the judges that comes before collegium but nothing is done usually if allegation is serious necessary ex- some action is required to be taken unfortunately despite 75 years of an independent judiciary the only answer of problem is to simply transfer judges exercising concern over the equality of judges selected he said some judges are less efficient tamar just lazy and take years and years to write judgment now if i say anything i will get trolled tomorrow saying after retirement why is he hunting the judiciary but that is my fate it is he also noted that on two occasion of the supreme court recently demanded two judgment back to the high court because it could not understand what was written in the judgment how to deal with such judges transferring them will not solve the problem this is not going to help institution it is not going to help the system and not going to help the country discussing the importance of independent judiciary for the future of the country he said please remember that ultimately independent judiciary is an essential element for revival of our democracy just imagine what would happen otherwise in this country the officers would become law and there would be no way to question the correctness of their action he calling his words at the event at an event back in 2008 he said i just want my children and grandchildren to live with dignity in the society if your country if you believe you all you also want your children and grandchildren to live with dignity in this country because we have this institution not just building preserve it in its equal quality and dignity 
generally as a rule no government and i am not talking about this particular government or that particular party but government usually are not lovers of the judicial system in democracy system any executive government anywhere in the world would love to have judiciary which approves of everything that they can they do and justice chelmeshwar concludes his address stressing on the need to shift focus to improving judicial system nobody is taking the is talking about the common man waiting for years at the corridor of the court why is happening how can he get improved this is something that need to be done iske baad mein that is additional solicitor general of india senior advocate vikramjit banerjee also addressed the gathering however he took a view contrary to the the chief justice on the college of social the college is not the, not in the constitution of for specifically according to Sir Bernard Jesse since India adopted a system from the United Kingdom the United Constitution in Constitution do not envisage a strict suppression of power he said according to the AG a two judiciary can function only if it works in consonance with democratic party this debate is not unique to India Israel and Australia all are having the same debate he said the system which works best for us that take long the democratic process has just the sg concluded this address by stating that justice himself said power corrupt and can be abused the flip side is also true we have seen the downside of it the consistent constant fighting each over the feedback so dosto ye chamaswar sahab ki ek news thi jisko aapko dena tha आशा है ये वीडियो आपको अच्छा लगा होगा आपसे दोबारा प्रार्थना है कि इस वीडियो को लाइक करें सोशल मीडिया में दोस्तों यारों के साथ में शेयर करें मेरे चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और ऐसे ही कुछ दूसरे अगर समाचार मिलेंगे तो मैं आपको आगे बताऊंगा अपना ध्यान रखिए जय हिंद भारत माता की जय वंदे मातरम